welcome back to our BNC BSECS GK online class. Yes, okay, so we almost completed a lot of our chapters, right? So um, today we're gonna learn chapter 29, 30, and 31. Yes, children, science and as the environment, world, and its people, and the 31st chapter is my India. Okay, so here we are having two plus one plus three subtitles in it. Okay, children. So now we'll have to turn to page number 58. As children, this is your chapter 29. The name of the chapter is Science and S. And the first subtitle of this chapter, your science quotient. Yes, your science quotient. Yeah. Unscramble the letters and fill in the blanks. So here you are having few questions. Six questions are given and the answers are given inside the brackets and they are scrambled. You gonna unscramble in order to find the answers. Okay, children. Yes, let me read the second question. Ten satellites were fired into orbit by PSLVC-9 in 2008 launched from dash Andhra Pradesh. Any idea? As children, I love you, right? Yes, R, I, H, A, R, I, K, O, T, A. Now, what's the answer? Three Harry Kota. Yes, okay, have you written? That's fine. And the next question, let me read the sixth one. Most stars are made up of hydrogen and dash. Yes, try to unscramble this letter. Yeah. H-E-L-I-U-M. So, most stars are made up of hydrogen and helium. Okay, children. So here you are having four more questions. Kindly read the questions and find the answers. Okay. And here, my dear children, you are given some names of the scientists. Okay. And the another side, you can find their contributions or else their achievements. You gonna match it. Okay. So for example, the third one, Michael Griffin. Yes. So, as I know, he was NASA chief, one of the finest rocket scientists of our time. Okay, so this is the third one. Yes, the remaining, you just read. You are given four more. Yes, you read the scientist's name and find their contributions or achievements given in this side. Okay, children. Then after that, your project in this chapter is... In your own find of book, make a list using the following headings. Name of the scientist, most noteworthy achievements. So similar to this, after completing, you just do this. Any five names of scientists and their achievements. Any one achievement. Okay, children. And after that, after writing this in an A4 sheet paper, below that, you write answers for these three questions as well. Okay, yes, now turn to page number 59. Next page. Yes, children, the second subtitle in this chapter is Lactrifying. Yes, what's the title? Lactrifying. And our interesting question is complete this crisscross puzzle. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to read one or two questions from this and later you can do the remaining as your homework. Okay, children, are you ready for that? That's good. Let me read the question given here, the second question, and you should write the answer here. The path through which electricity flows. Yes, the path through which electricity flows. What's that? I think you have studied this in your science subject. Yes, the name of the path through which the electricity flows is circuit what's the answer circuit okay let me read one more question here 11th question these are invisible waves of energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation 
yes invisible waves of energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation any idea any idea my dear children yes here you should write the answer here what's that electromagnetic radiation yes r a y s so what's that x rays what's the correct answer x rays okay and come to the next part the source of an electric current inside which a chemical reaction takes place once again the source of an electric current inside which a chemical reaction takes place any idea yes children so here you should write yes any idea whether you know the answer b a t t e r y so what's the correct answer battery okay and the next one an electrical charge which flows from one place to another electrical charge which flows from one place to another i think you all know this answer right what's the correct answer current right so you can write the answer here c u r r e n t yes have you all written that's fine my dear children and you have few more questions i have written answers for 1 2 3 4 four questions and here you're having 11 more questions okay children so you just read it and complete this criss cross puzzle okay yeah, now let's move to the next chapter chapter 30 all of you turn to page number 60 yes have you all taken page number 60 okay so this is your 30th chapter this is your 30th chapter the environment world and its people guess here we have only one subtitle and the title is modern day masterpieces yes modern day masterpieces okay so here marvel at these modern day masterpieces so here you are having few questions about the masterpieces of world yeah get to know them if you don't already if you know them already no problem if you don't know get ready to know them okay children and in this chapter you can find six questions yes and each question has its clue here okay children so any idea Yes, any idea after seeing this picture? Yes, you may have some idea, right? It's okay. Let me read one question from this chapter. The biggest Ferris wheel in Europe. It can carry up to eight hundred passengers at a time and provide a view of twenty-five miles. What is it called? What's that? And your clue is here. This is the picture. what is it called guess this is london eye so all of you write here l o n d o n e y e london eye yes okay and here you are having five more questions i have written answer for only one question and you have five questions for your homework okay children read the questions and after the answers Yes look at the pictures if you know them you can write the answers here if you don't know try to find the answer surfing the net okay shall we move to the next chapter yes this is your 31st chapter and the title is my india yes so in this chapter we going to see questions from our country questions about our country yes first subtitle is 21st century Yes, children. There are many reasons why we, as Indians, should feel happy, but there are also many things we should be very concerned about. Let's review both the good and the bad. Fill in the blanks. Okay. So this is about the twenty-first century India. So in this chapter, you are having totally ten questions. Okay, children. So as usual, I'm gonna read one or two questions from this chapter, and the remaining is for you. Homework. Are you ready? Okay. Let me read the very first question given in this chapter. The Dash Prohibition and Regulation Amendment Act 2016 prohibits the engagement of children under 14 in all occupations 
and of adolescents under 18 in hazardous occupations and processes. The Act also imposes a fine on anyone who employs or permits adolescents to work. Guess what's that? C H I L D L A B O U R. Yes, what's the name of this act? Child Labor Amendment Act 2016. You should know this. Okay, children? Okay, and then let's see one more question from this chapter. This is the last question in this chapter. About one third of ma. Yes, of all malnourished children live in our country. Almost half of the children below the age of three are underweight in India. One child dies every minute in India due to acute dash. As children, I have read the question already. Yes, in this chapter, we're gonna see some good and bad about our 21st century India. Right? So... The first one is, even though it seems a good question, and the last one, one child dies every minute in India due to acute dash. Yes, children, due to malnutrition. I love you right here. Malnutrition. I think um, you can see this in many of the advertisements nowadays right that's fine dear children okay let's come to the topic now here you are having eight more questions so read the questions thoroughly and write the answer of the understanding the question properly okay now turn to page number yes six. the subtitle is indian authors it seems an interesting topic to me right so uh, are you interested in literature Yes, so here, children, we're going to see a few questions about our Indian authors. Okay, are you ready? The first one is, in what languages do or did these famous authors or poets mainly write? So here, you are given 12 authors or poets names. Okay, and you should find out in what language did or do they write. Okay, are you ready to find this? Okay, let me read the second one. Sadat has a mantle. Yes, so I'm saying Urdu writer. Okay, and next one. Vivi Shivatkar. Yes, he used to write in Marathi. So I love you right here. M A R A T H I. Okay, let's see one more. Yashpal writes in. Hindi and then seventh one Kalki. I think uh, you are familiar about this name, right? Are you familiar to this name Kalki Krishnamurti? Because it's a Tamil author. Yes, okay. So you are having eight more authors' names. So find the answer. I mean, find the languages and what they write and write it here. Okay. And then here match these Indian or of Indian origin authors with their work. So here this side you are have yes you are having uh, ten authors name. Okay, so ten names of famous author Indian authors. Okay, children. And this side you can find their works, their novels, stories, etc. Okay, and you gonna match these authors with their books. Are you ready? Yes, so the first one, Salman Rushdie. Yeah, any idea what are his books? Midnight's Children, Luca and the Fear of Life, The Enchantress of Florence. Yes, these are the books written by Salman Rushdie. And the next one, Kiran Desai. Kiran Desai, any idea? Yes, here. The Inheritance of Laws. So, this is written by this author, Kiran Desai. And the next one, Kushwan Singh. Yes, what's the name of the author? Kushwan Singh. Yes, he has written Train to Pakistan. It's a wonderful book. If you have time, find the book and read it, my dear children. This is the third answer. And remaining questions are seven. 
okay so you can find the answer and write and you are having one more project is here yes do it in an a4 sheet paper shall we move to the next chapter i mean subtitle yes so the last subtitle in your 31st chapter my india is art and handicrafts let me read the first question name these great indian artists in this oral exercise yes okay here in our gk book we are seeing so many oral exercises but since you are there at home children you should write the answers because you are not ready to record your answers right so you should write there the first question given here is nick names the picasso of india yes he is the picasso of india he started his career painting full imposters he died in 2011 2011 who's that he is yam f zain yes a i m this is the correct answer okay children so after writing this the remaining questions read it and write okay and here similar to the previous chapter the second question is match the following where are these handicrafts or works of art originally from match the columns so here in this side you are having eight names of handicrafts or work of art okay you should find where are these handicrafts or work from yes this side you are having the names of the states or states okay children i'm going to do two questions yes the first one is aplic yes first one is correct answer is vadisha yes this is originally from vadisha so this is one and the second one chicken curry and this is from lucknow up uttar pradesh yes and right here too and the remaining question is for your homework okay yes today we have seen chapter 29 30 and 31 all of you should do the homework okay so you should complete till page number 33 yes my dear children after completing what will you do just take a snapshot and send it to me okay here we come to an end of our class today my dear children till we meet in our next last class Bye bye take care